In an extraordinary development, State Parliament is refusing to give police evidence that could lead to child pornography charges. It means whoever was looking at child porn in Parliament on a government computer will get away with it. The independent review was supposed to shed light on any illegal computer use by MPs and their staff. But the grubby individual looking at sexually explicit material of young people remains protected. The doors remain shut to the truth. Welcome independent Speaker Army Richard Torbay and suspended ALP MP Amanda Fazio made the decision not to ask police to investigate, meaning no one will face criminal charges. Neither MP was willing to be interviewed on camera. So it's not sharing something that could but lead to a conviction? Nobody is above the law. Nobody is above the law. This is a matter for the presiding officers. The report into what internet sites have been accessed at Parliament followed the confessions by former Labor Minister Paul McClay to looking at adult sites and by Fred Nile that his office had done the same for research purposes. The decision not to call in the police suggests double standards and some innocent MPs feel uncomfortable about that. And I certainly believe full transparency should, should be adhered to. Well, Kevin, how can they justify this decision? Well, Georgie, they're not really trying to, saying they simply can. They have legal advice that allows it. So right here, the place that makes laws for the state is excluding MPs and staff from the scrutiny of police. This stinks, and most MPs know it as well. Georgie? All right, Kevin Wilde at State Parliament, thank you.